What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. I do these every single week with Cassie Mendoza to follow the next day. So guys, please make sure to consider becoming a member on my channel. Go to the main page and just click the join button. You do get private Discord. We've got a great community. We have weekly events. We, we host games. We play games together. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So please consider. Also follow me on Twitch. Link will be in description below. And uh, let's get on with this week's Vendor Reset. Hopefully we can get some decent items. So TU 9.1 was supposed to drop today, but it got delayed. So we have to see when that's going to come out. Uh, okay, so we've got a tactical AUG. These are all purples. I'm going to try and briskly go through all of this, these, these items, these purples especially, seeing as though not a lot of people were going to be using them anyway. Uh, close and personal, it has on it military AKM with reformation. Officers M9 with vindictive. R&K, this is a backpack with health and armor regen. Creeping death is the talent. Then we've got Providence Defense chess piece with low rolls. Spotter. Then offensive mod, 3.1% crit chance. Then we've got for the drone, 5.2% duration. And for the turret, one extra mortar ammo. Then improved sticky bomb, which is 4.5% damage mod. Make sure to come over here to the crafting, not the crafting bench, the blueprints bench. And have a look and see if she's selling anything. Because a lot of times there will be some blueprints here every week. And you can purchase them, whether it be uh, mods, pieces of gear, or skill mods. So make sure you guys come and have a look. Okay, the level 40 clan vendor. Let's have a look and see what he has for us this week. Sokolov of Concern. Foam Handshake Gloves. Beautiful. This is so far the best buy so far. Uh, this has got SMG, crit damage, crit chance as the set. This comes with 15% status effects. Definitely pick up one or two of these guys. Very, very nice. The weapon damage roll is not bad. It has got weapon handling, unfortunately, but some people might find that useful. Striker's Backpack. Weapon damage is 10.2% with skill damage 6.9. Not bad. Hardwired gloves with 15.6k health with a skill tier, unfortunately. Negotiator's Dilemma. Uh, oh, hold on. This has got a skill tier. That's fine. So the, the great thing about these gear sets as well, guys, is what I just forgot to tell you, is they all run with their relative skill tiers or armor rolls. So the nice thing about it is you can just focus on whatever rolls you have. So this is just as good as any gloves because you can just go back to it and re-roll this to skill damage. Uh, I would recommend if you guys are using hardwired, do not spec into skill haste, spec into skill damage. Then we've got Negotiator's Dilemma chest piece with 13.5% weapon damage. That's actually pretty decent, not bad. I'm going to purchase this. The only problem is it's got 11.5k health, which is not very, not ideal. But if you've got one that you wanted to roll armor, you could have this as your weapon damage one. So this would be pretty good. Then you just re-roll this to crit damage, I would recommend. Very nice. Military L86. This has got Ignited. These are decent rolls, 5% damage to armor. M1A CQB. The rolls are mid midway with Lucky Shot as the talent. Tactical AUG, headshot damage is 9% with spike. Fenris gloves, crit damage is almost max roll, 11.9%. Very nice. It's got weapon damage, 9.5. Tactical 511, this is a holster. 127k armor, 16k health with 6.9% headshot damage. And we've got a chest skip chest piece with 8.5% weapon damage, repair skills, skill haste with unbreakable. Aroldi Holdings knee pads, weapon damage, repair skills, crit damage. Utility mod with 9.9% skill haste, not too bad. Carbon fiber, which is 6.1% duration for the turret. Offensive mod, 7.3% weapon, uh, headshot damage, which could be good. If you guys don't have this mod, buy a few. Then we've got gaffer tape, which is 6% armor repair for the drone. Very nice. Decent uh, items from this vendor. Definitely come and buy this firm handshake and the negotiator's chest piece. There's a few other good items that people may find useful. Let's move on to the next vendor. The Theater Settlement. Let's have a look and see what he's got for us. Tactical Super 90 SPS with Preservation. SIG 716. Low Rolls with Reformation. Overlord Gloves. Very low rolls. 511 Knee Pads. Not great. Defensive Mod. Armor on Kill. 12.6k. Then we got for the Seeker Mine. 2.7% uh, Damage Mod. For the Shield. 3.5% Shield Health. For the Firefly. 4.1% Damage. And for the Decoy. 4.5% Duration. Alright guys. The Campus Settlement. Paratrooper SVD with Perpetuation, Tactical M249 Para with Vindictive, Cheska Mask with Hazard Protection 8.3% with an a defensive mod slot, China Light Holster, Explosive Resistance 5.5, Utility Mod 8.5% Skill Haste, Chem Launcher 3.9% Radius, Swarm Control 4% Health for the Hive, then for the Pulse 11.6% Health, and then for the Trap 3.4% Duration. Dark Zone West Vendor, ACS-12, with Spike, LVOAC with Optimist, Tip of the Spear Gloves, Hardwire Knee Pads, and we've got Healer Guard Gloves with Low Rolls, DNH 
knee pads, very low rolls as well. Defensive mod, disrupt resistance, 6.7%, 3.5% damage for the hive, for the shield, holstered regen, 2.9 for the firefly, plus one max targets for the decoy, 4% duration. Dark Zone East Fender, we've got M700 Tactical with Killer, Military L86 LSW with Bread Basket, Tip of the Spear Mask, Hazard Protection Weapon, Aces and Eights, Holster, very low rolls, Yell Gear Mask, unfortunately not great, the armor, max armor, max status effects would be perfect, nope. Then we've got R&K, Holster, Armor Regen, Repair Skills, Utility Mod, 13.7 Repair Skills, and we've got 4.3% Heal for the Chem Launcher, for the Hive, 3 Repair Charges for the Pulse, 5.7% Radius, for the Trap, 3.4% Duration. Dark Zone South Fender, we have got a P90 with Sadist, not, nothing special, for Mars with Rifle Damage, 9% for a Purple with Eyeless, First Wave with Vindictive, Striker's Backpack, not good, Hardwired Chest Piece with Crit Damage, then we've got Wyvern Wear Backpack with Calculated. Doesn't have any good rolls, unfortunately. Wrong rolls completely, except for the skill tier. Sockle of Concern Chest Piece with Obliterate. Low rolls there. Offensive Mod, 8.7% crit damage. Hollow Point, this is 4.1% damage reduction for the drone. For the turret, 2.7% duration uh, damage, actually. And then for the Sticky Launcher, we've got 5.2% duration. Let's move over to New York. The settlement in New York, we've got to go to Marco. The vendor here, Military G36 with Close and Personal, Covert SRS with Strained, Police MK17 with Killer, Police 666 Magnum with Ignited, 511 Backpack with Combined Arms, Knee Pads, which are Aroli Holdings, and we've got Wyvern and Wear Holster, Headshot Damage is pretty. Just over midway, so nothing special, Offensive Mod, Crit Chance 2.9%, Offensive Mod 3.1% Crit Chance, uh, interesting, and then we've got Terminal Ballistics, which is 5.5% health for the drone, then 4.2% skill haste for the pulse. Then for the decoy, we have 4.5% duration. Then we move on to the final vendor, which will be Roy Benitez. Let's see what this guy has for us this time. Police tier 2-1 with perpetuation. SRSA-1 with bread basket. SASG-12 with eyeless. Military M9 with sadist. Then chest piece overlord armaments with empathic resolve. Grupo Sombra, knee pads. Overlord holster. Nothing special again. Offensive mod. Crit damage is 83 Crit damage is 8, I don't know why they're doing this to us, 3.3% so damage, then for the uh, pulse, 9.3% health, for the decoy, 3.5% duration. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the weekly vendor reset. Remember, tomorrow will be Cassie Mendoza. Now, I feel like the vendor resets have been pretty bad lately, I'm going to continue doing them. Now, just to quickly clarify why, uh, someone might find something useful, like the firm handshake gloves, I'm sure a lot of people would want those they're pretty good so hopefully i can give you guys something to look forward to every week you know with regards to maybe we get something good i feel like they might be buffing it very soon i have been sending requests and hopefully we will be getting some changes because credits are kind of pointless right now as you guys can see i have quite a lot of credits and i don't think i'm ever gonna spend them i never see myself spending them it's quite annoying. So hopefully they can fix it. Cassie Mendoza sells a lot better items. That will be tomorrow. So make sure to uh, click the notification bell so you guys uh, know when I do upload. I do stream on Twitch all the time as well. Uh, also, guys, one more thing before we go. Uh, I just wanted to speak about something. There's a few videos I'm going to bring out about uh, technique in the dark zone and shade tech levels and how to upgrade your watch in the right way. I have done everything. I've made all the mistakes. I've been upgrading the wrong thing. I'm only level 412 on my watch. Uh, I didn't use any of the glitches, as you guys know. A lot of people use the glitches, and there are over a thousand. Uh, just remember, guys, um, you get a big advantage from it. And I made a mistake of not speaking into the right things. And the, the funniest thing about this is, which I'm going to explain in this video that I'm going to be bringing out, is it's just going to be a guide on the shade tech levels. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Is that it doesn't depend on best in slot. There's no such thing as best in slot. You have to adapt to what the current state of the game is. And there are a few things, for example, like hazard protection, which need to be prioritized. Now, obviously, it's not, it's not as good as total armor, but in the spec of it, in the, in the times, it is in certain aspects, in certain situations. So it's going to be quite an in-depth explanation. It's, this game is a lot more than just a statistics and paper. A lot of people will send me comments of statistics of why this is better, why that's better. It's irrelevant. I don't like seeing that because that's not what this game is about. There's way more to it than meets the eye. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Make sure to click the notification bell because tomorrow will be Cassie Mendoza. Like I said before, she sells better items. Uh, thank you very much for all the support lately. We're going up to 40k subscribers soon. It's going to be amazing. I really do appreciate your guys' support. So uh, if you guys want to support me, 
uh, even more i do have merchandise i've actually just ordered some even during this ep pandemic you can still get items i just got some hoodies and shirts that's really really cool so ho hopefully i see you guys repping it i will be repping it on my streams very soon so with that being said make sure to follow me on twitch uh, subscribe and i'll be seeing everybody in the next video which will be either today or tomorrow we'll see how i feel and i'll be seeing everybody later bye guys